Hey guys, TTRX6 here, back for another third party review. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Make Toys slash Make Toys Set C Wheel Loader and Mixer for the Giant series. So that means there's going to be two videos today. We're going to have one focusing on the alt modes and the bots uh, of these two guys. And then I'm going to do the full Hercules, uh, <laughs> Giant review because uh, we officially have all the parts of Giant. So we might as well do that too. So let's just take a quick look at the box. We won't spend too much time in the back. You can see you get one of those nice prints. Uh, Basically, you get the stuff that's on the side on a piece in the art mixer and wheel loader. Pretty nice. He's depicted with red eyes in this picture, though, but he was painted with blue eyes. So I made the adjustment to him. Uh, let me see if we can zoom in on this here a little bit. There's the picture. That's what he looks like with the blue eyes. Uh, keeping that in mind because mine doesn't have it also mixer has yellow eyes mine also doesn't have that after switching everyone with blue eyes to red eyes I realized that only mix master has yellow eyes so he just kind of stuck out compared to the others so also inside the box you get some replacement parts um, you get a giant head and he's a little bit revised. Uh, I guess the neck is supposed to be a weak area. I put it on, he still has that problem where he's looking down all the time, so I took it right back off and left my modified one on. You also get replacement uh, front for dump truck, and they actually went and rounded this properly, so it's a lot less scary to get these into the uh, folded position without them breaking. But since I modified mine, I don't need them. And then I guess the shoulders are a weak area. Uh, so far, knock on wood, mine haven't broke, but if they do, I've got a replacement set. Of course, you also get the guns. And they are storable on the sides of the alt modes if you really like them. I don't really like that, so I'm going to take that off. And just to show you, you can do it on both of them. Actually, I might have picked up the wrong gun. So many guns on my table. Nope, I picked up the right one. There we go. Plug it in just like that. <clears throat> yeah, I don't really care for storing my stuff in vehicle mode. You also have the chest wings for the combined mode and they fold up and you can actually take them and peg them right into the back here of a dump truck and that's how you can store those again if that kind of thing is important to you I still don't like it still won't use it so looking at the alt modes themselves they're very nice they roll pretty nicely uh, they got this little hook on the back for the trailers. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, articulation on this guy, because he is a loader, is this shovel goes up, and it's very stiff. You can see it wants to move the whole uh, front and back of this guy. That's about it. It is a shame still that these hydraulics don't provide any type of movement on the shovel, but ultimately, it's probably to the benefit. Now, what I really like about these guys over the Hercules set is really, you know, when you look at these guys, this is something that you would see, you know, at a construction site, no doubt. Um, especially with Mixmaster here, um, the cement mixer mode just is, is so well detailed and stuff that it just looks like something you would see driving down the road. And I like that. There's no stretch of the imagination on what these alt modes are. Uh, unfortunately, Mixmaster does not have any barrel articulation. So, if you have the original set, you remember you got the fists in these little trailers, and finally we have the stuff 
to hold them. And it holds pretty good. I mean, if you go to the sides, it's going to auto move on its own just because of gravity. But, you know, it does hold the trailer very nice. And when it's on the ground, every single wheel, including the trailer, is moving. That's pretty nice. I do kind of wish that it wasn't a uh, wheel loader here that had the trailer on it just because I just don't see the wheel loader moving around on the road that often. I, uh, that's how I, you know, how I envision the trailers, but I guess if wheel loader was just moving, you know, say this power trailer, you know, across the site or something, then that would work. So. Uh, unfortunately, we still didn't get any accessories that make these little handles on the trailers all that worthwhile. I was waiting for some kind of drills or something like that. So I suspect we're going to see a add-on set for these at some point. Uh, last thing to note is that this engine piece does come off, so if you're getting it second hand or something like that, make sure you have it because you do need that. So let's just put them here and we'll bring in the rest of the Constructicons on this already very cluttered table just to show them off in their vehicle modes and they really do look very nice together uh, everyone looks coherent definitely from the same construction company really nice no stretches of the imagination here on what we're looking at and why is this there we go so that pretty much is it for the alternate modes here. We might as well take them to their giant limb modes, just because it's always easier to do the limb mode from uh, vehicle mode. So if you follow the instructions for Mixmaster, it's not going to work right and it's going to be a big hassle, so don't. First, take these feet and move them up like that. That's going to save you a lot of hassle because it actually tells you to move the cab assembly up like this first. And if you don't, your feet will still be down here and then you have to try to mess with them to get them up there. So I'm unsure why they didn't just have you move them first. And you can see they clip in really nice. Now, that's pretty much it according to the instructions on foot mode. What the instructions don't tell you, and I don't understand why, is that there's these little gray clips on each side here. And if you pinch them, you can actually, it's not much, but you can see, you can pull out the leg. And now you have a nice range of motion out of that leg. So I don't know why they didn't really say anything about that. Now wheel loader here is much more of a pain to transform. Uh, I find he's a lot harder to work with mostly because of this front section here. So we gotta start by taking off the engine as you saw me just do and then we move the shovel forward. Now we have to kind of get this out and it's just really tightly held in there. It just, the, the gray piece inside doesn't want to move that easy. Oh, before we do that, maybe that's what's causing my problems. We gotta move the head out and rotate it backwards. Now we can move this and, nope, still tough. And you can see once it goes, it just kind of falls into place. So you got that. Again, not told is the little button right where my finger is here. And you push that down and you'll get that angle extension giving you a nice range of motion and then you can take this piston and put it down now i never really liked this piston because it just looks like it does it just ends it doesn't look like it's connected to anything so you kind of have to play with the front of this cab to hide it a little better i don't know i just kind of wish it wasn't there now you take the arm assembly and you bring them up so they line up with this little bar here and then you unpeg the arms and rotate them down like this and you'll pretty much be able to tell where they need to be uh, when you have them set, set because you'll see the flat parts are where he's going to be standing on and the final thing 
You don't have to do this. I've seen people who don't because they can get a little bit better posability out of the foot um, by messing with these. But if you really want to shore them up and make sure you got these two little peg holes here, or pegs there in the holes here, you're just going to kind of take these and plug it on in the little engine. And then you'll see that the little tabs here are going to line up with tab holes on each of his arms here to kind of just lock everything in place. And there, so now you got a nice secure uh, connection there. And you can put it there. And then the last thing you got to do is open up the little knee pad and there you go now you got two very solid legs with quite a bit of movement for her uh, I keep saying her giant all right so let's go and work on getting these guys to their robot modes so what we're first gonna do let's take that and let's collapse this assembly back in on itself properly I'm going to start with him because I like him less than Mixmaster. Mostly because of this swiveling arm joint thing. So we can take the head and spin that back forward. And disconnect this engine piece here and just put it aside for now. Rotate the arms on forward here. And the shovel assembly has to come back back and you have to mess with it a little to get the head to go through and that's kind of a, a problem with this toy and what we can do now is just rotate everything around like that and we'll just be done with the top for now um, we'll come back to that after now for the lower part here we're gonna unpeg these panels down here and flip them out like that just so they're kind of out of the way and then you're going to pull on the back sides to separate this piece out so we can now lift this whole back assembly up now the transformation on this guy is pretty well engineered it's just that there are some things that kind of stink just because of how they were made so now we have that we can do the typical rotate our legs on out we'll do that for each side here and you collapse this top panel on in like that to form the front and what you're gonna do here is now rotate these assemblies on down and peg them in and then flip them you can see his feet are coming together and now we'll rotate them on around and push them on in and I think that's a pretty cool foot transformation there so you can see we've made some really nice looking legs uh, this piston now can actually go straight up like that and you just kind of collapse all this stuff in on itself There we go, just like that. And well, we'll get to that after. So now that you have that, you can mess with the uh, front loader part here. Now, I think based on the pegs, it's supposed to go in like that. But then you can see that if we put it in like that, then we actually have very very little of his head exposed but it definitely pegs in there but you really can't get much exposure on his head like that so I always just pull this out and leave it like that so we'll take the arms here we might as well continue there and the arms are fiddly for sure we can just take it and unfold it and you'll see how you have this little piece here 
that's gonna go next to his bucket to give you the maximum movement you're gonna get. Uh, spin this around, flip the wheel to the other side, and grab this little panel and flip it out for his fist. Do the same thing on this other side. There we go. Flip it around. Rotate. Flip. And flip. And it's just a matter of getting everything all cleaned up here. In a manner that's gonna work. This is definitely one of the problems. You, you do have to kind of mess with this, and I feel like this is not right. Like, I feel like even after transforming it only a couple times, like that shoulder hinge thing just isn't how it's supposed to be anymore. So once you have it, it'll look like this, and he definitely has a hard time seeing over the front of his uh, thing there. And you can kind of see his red eyes. Unfortunately, based on how they're positioned and sunken in, I don't think they're coming out too well. It may look better if I raise the camera here, just because you can kind of see the angle I'm seeing him. He's seeing a little bit better. What I want to try though, and I haven't tried this so we're going to do this together, is to take this and if I extend out his waist like that, nah it doesn't really give anything I thought it would maybe give a little more room for the front of his cab to kind of come down so unfortunately it does not so yeah he's always having trouble looking and I think you can probably if you're not afraid to modify his head so it sits back a little bit more but that's about all I can see in terms of trying to get him to see over the front there you just kind of have to mess with this as best you can the shoulders are definitely supposed to be up here. So he's definitely good, just he has a lot of little bits that are tough to work with. And we can fold this back up. The last thing they want you to do is open this up here against the back and you can just kind of take the little engine and plug it in right back here so you don't lose it if you choose to store him like that and we might as well give him his gun while we're here there we go and we'll set him to the side for now well let's go over his articulation articulation is a little bit lacking on this guy um, the head is on a ball joint but it is limited a lot by the shovel um, you can see it's touching it. The arms do full 360. They really only go that far in and out just because of all the kibble there. But it's made up by the top rotation and a pretty nice elbow. Um, you can mess with the little gray clip piece to get it in a position that is going to work for you. But again, I'm pretty sure my gray clip piece is worn out after only transforming it a few times. And there's no wrist articulation aside from the in and out. Legs are much better articulated. Um, ball joint, swivel, pretty nice knee, and the fact that the foot transforms like it does, you do get a lot of ankle tilt there. And now I think he's back to not seeing in front of him. Now I've seen some people who have cut parts of the uh, hydraulics away here just to make the back of this scoop fall a little bit lower, um, but I haven't done that. So there we go. There is Scrapper. 
Now for Mix Master, um, I also like to kind of do a little bit different of a transformation than what they tell us to do. Again, we'll put these, squeeze these tabs and push that back together. And you can unfold the legs. Now, I will show you, I'll show you the official transformation first and then I'll show you what I like to do. We can split everything here and then you take the legs and you flip this out and then you can collapse the, the truck into the knee there. Bring the foot down, pop out the heel spur. So there is one foot. And then we'll do it again on this side. Flip it down, rotate that in. Heel spare time if my finger can ever get it out. There we go. And this guy surprises me a lot just because of how tall he is. Um, notably also, his head is usually supposed to be facing out, but it looks better when it's in because you will see his head if you look at Giant from behind. So, what you do now, don't pull on these like that. You have to actually unpeg them first. They're pegged in in two areas. So unpeg them. Now when you have it, you can rotate them to the side and out. And then take the shoulder pads, flip them on in. Clean up his hands here so they look nice on the ball joints and they're all facing the right way. And then just take this and flip his head around. You can see I gave him some red eyes and I think that looks good. And that is the official transformation for Mixmaster. And you can see he is a tall guy and I don't like that. He, he towers above everyone, even Hook. He, I mean, he's not that much taller than Hook, but you know, with all this top accessory, like, for whatever reason, I feel like he's not done. That's, that's always what I felt, is that, like, something else is supposed to go down and he's too lanky or something. So, actually, what I have started to do, which I personally like, is I never rotate this foot assembly out. I just leave it like that, which is going to make him, well, I'll show you here. If we leave one out and one in, you can see that there is a uh, couple, I'd say like a half inch difference in his total height there. So yeah, I rotate this and I plug this on in and you can still get the knees pretty nice. The feet are a little bit more recessed now, but that's okay since when they care. And I like to personally leave him like that. And that makes him a little bit smaller. He's still taller than most, but his head level is about the same height as uh, Hook's now. And I like that a lot better. Personal preference. In terms of articulation on this guy, you do have a great knee. Again, the ball joint, the swivel. Uh, much better arm articulation with the swivel and the ball joint. The wrist looks like it has articulation, but it doesn't. Uh, the arm has a lot of posability, still only getting you about this much side to side um, just because of how things hinder. Now the one thing I do think is pretty cool about this guy is if you remember G1 Mixmaster had missiles up here. Well this guy has them too and you simply flip that little visor down now he's got a little blast shield set slash targeting mechanism and you've now exposed the missiles. So I think that was a pretty neat little play feature that they added to this guy. And finally, we can also give him his gun here. And there you go, that's Mixmaster. So the only thing left really to do is going to be to bring in the whole entire crew here. And I think some people dislike uh, Long Haul just because he's short and stumpy, but I always feel that he's that like grouchy guy. He's uh, a little bit plump and always trying to be real tough. I'm sure you know the guy. You've all met someone like that before. 
so there you go there's the whole crew and you can see painted his eyes painted his eyes painted his eyes and also I did the modification on, on hook to get the boom on the back so that's it this is set C of the giant set from Make Toys or Make Toys and I guess all that's left now is to actually make giant see you there